What? What? What in the world? What in the world can I do for you today? What's up guys? Today I'm going to give you four magic questions to help you build real relationships with your clients. Okay, welcome back to my channel. I'm Ricky Carruth and if this is the first time you're seeing me, I'm a 16 year real estate agent. I've written two books. I speak nationally to real estate agents and I coach for absolutely free. Why am I coaching for free? Because I actually want to help. I want to give back to the real estate industry. My overall goal is to help reduce the failure rate because it's so crazy high. They say 87% of agents fail in their first couple years in the business and I think that is absolutely a tragedy when real estate is so simple. You just talk to people, you create relationships, you find out what you can do to help them, you make a connection and then you put a system in place to stay relevant forever in their life and they always use you as their agent, they refer everybody they know to you. Every prospect that you create a relationship with is worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career. So regardless if they buy or sell today, if you begin that relationship, they could be worth 10 to 20 deals to you over the life of your career. I have a complete free course from top to bottom, exactly how I do this. It's at zerotodiamond.com. Um, as soon as you sign up, you'll start getting my emails as well. And we're doing live training sessions every other week. It's live right here on this YouTube channel. So be sure to click subscribe and hit the bell so you can get notified when I post new videos and when we do our live training sessions. Last week I made live calls for an hour and a half. This week we're going to do lead conversion. I'm going to go through my entire lead conversion process and take all of your questions. Get ready to take your business to another level. So let's get into these magic questions that I ask when I'm talking to prospects that enables me to begin a relationship. You see the problem is that most of the training out there is designed to figure out what the client can do for the agent. Okay, I wanna teach agents how to find out what the agent can do for the client. That's where all the money is made, that's how you actually help people, that's how you succeed big time in this business. So the questions I don't want you asking every single person you run into is, do you wanna buy or sell? And if not, who do you know that wants to buy or sell? Because all that tells that prospect is that you're looking to do a deal just like every other real estate agent and you're not really looking out for what's best for them. What do they want? How can can you help them? So that brings me to my first magic question. What in the world can I do for you? Good, man. Well, look, I don't want to take up too much of your time, but there was a house right around the corner from you that just sold, and I didn't know if there's anything in the world I could do for you today. This has been a game changer for so many agents. They, they jump into my Zero to Diamond coaching program, and this is the first thing that really stands out to them is that I'm very low pressure, and I'm not trying to see if they want to buy or sell something right now and most agents if, if the prospect doesn't want to buy or sell right now they move on to the next one and they just forget about that person and I want to begin a relationship with every single person that I can regardless if they want to buy or sell right now because chances are they're gonna buy or sell later and if we're talking right now in the present anyway why not make that connection for the future and that deal is going to turn into repeat business referrals and referrals of referrals this is is how I got to 100 deals a year as a single agent. This is how I make a million dollars a year as a single agent in South Alabama. Because I want to know what I can do to help the prospect. Okay, so this is a big, big question. Um, it's my money maker. And what happens is, is it opens up so many opportunities. When you ask that question, people realize right then you're out for them, not for you. Right? And they're not used to that. They feel different. You know, they, they don't feel like they're talking to a real estate agent. They feel like they're talking to a friend or family. And that's what you want. You want to get that sensation that they feel comfortable with you, that they like you, that they know that you're going to be there for them, work hard for them, you're professional, dependable, you do what you say, you're confident, you're consistent, 
and you wanna know what you can do to help them. So when I finally realized this about eight years into my career, that this was the question to ask, not if they wanna buy or sell or who do they know, it was a complete game changer and I said to myself, man, I wish somebody would've told me this when I started selling real estate. I would've been so much further ahead of where I am right now if I'd have known that from the beginning. The second magic question is, is there an agent that you would work with if you were to do something? Not ready at the time. I got you, I got you. Well look, is there an agent in the area that you would work with if you were to do something? This is a big, big question because it establishes where you stand in the relationship. Where are we? Are we gonna be their agent? If they decide to do something, do they already have a relationship in place? Is their mother a real estate agent? Is their cousin best friend from high school? A lot of agents have a great conversation with the prospect and they say to themselves afterwards, man, I just had this great conversation, everything's going good, I got this future client, everything's awesome but they didn't ask them if there's an agent that they would work with if they were to do something and their mom is an agent. So right then and there, it doesn't matter how much they like you, they're never gonna use you as a real estate agent. So it's just something to, to throw out there very casually that establishes where you are. And then when they give you their answer, if they do have an agent, then you can make a decision if you wanna still stay in the game or if you wanna back off. A lot of times I back off if they already have an agent, um, especially if they sound very confident and this is just their agent for life, they, this agent did so much for them, they sold them the house that they're in and did all this stuff for them, great. That's a good agent, I know that agent, you're in great hands. Look, if there's ever anything I can do for you, let me know, have a great day. Now just think if they don't, if they say they don't have an agent that they would deal with if they were to buy or sell something, look at where you are. Now you know for sure that the, the door is wide open to begin that relationship and start nurturing that and cultivating that into a future prospect who's not only gonna do deals with you, but it's gonna send you everybody they know. I also like to use this when I run into somebody who does want to buy or sell, okay, and they say that they want to buy or sell right now, pretty soon, uh, in a month or two or three. Okay, cool. Do you have an agent that you're going to work with on that? Okay, if they want to buy right now today, like yeah, we're, we're thinking about doing something, we want to go look at houses tomorrow. Okay, great, is there an agent that you're already working with on that? I like to get that out there quick because I want to establish what's going on. That way there's no misunderstandings later. The third magic question is, I want to know why. Why are you buying, why are you selling? When I finally get to somebody who wants to buy or wants to sell, I wanna know why. What's going on in your life that's causing you to make this decision to buy or sell? Um, did somebody die, was somebody born, did you lose a job, get a new job? Are you relocating, are you downgrading, are you upgrading? Is it an investment? What is going on in your life that's causing you to make this decision? People don't just buy properties and sell properties for the heck of it. Okay, something's going on bigger. There's a bigger picture going on in their life that's, that's causing this. And we want to know what it is. And when we know what it is, then we can really go deep. We can really help them with what they're really trying to accomplish, which is not just to buy or sell a house. There's something bigger. And we want to help them accomplish that bigger goal, whatever's going on. So make that be the focus, not necessarily the sell or the buy of a property. And the fourth magic question is, is it okay if I stayed in touch with you? Would it be all right if I stayed in touch? Okay, I like this because once they answer it and say yes, and they've committed to you staying in touch with them, then you can say, okay, cool, what's your email address? I like to ask for the email address after they commit to saying it's okay that I stay in touch with them, they're more apt to give me their email address. And of course, everybody who's in my program knows Knows that my follow-up system is the weekly email that goes out every single Wednesday. You can go to zerodiamond.com and go to the section about my weekly email. There's a video tutorial. Um, there's an example of my email and everything you need to get started with that if that's something that you want to do. 
but what I don't want to do is come out and just ask, can I have your email address? Or, hey, do you want to be on my email list? Or, do you want to start receiving my market reports? Okay, I never want to say any of those things because it makes them feel like they're just another number, right, on this big list that's just going to get this huge bulk blast email. I don't want them to feel like that. I want them to feel like, hey, I want to stay in touch with you, okay? You want to make it feel personal, even though you are sending a bulk email, right? I create my email, so there's personality behind my bulk emails. So even though they know it's bulk, it still has that Ricky feel. And so when I'm asking for email addresses or I'm asking to stay in touch, I want to simply say, hey, is it all right if I stay in touch with you? Okay, cool, what's your email address? Okay, so that's four magic real estate questions for you to get out there and use to create lifelong relationships and build that bond with your prospects that you need to take your business to another level. Having a mindset like this where you're laid back and low pressure and you have a high volume of people that you're contacting is the secret. That is the way to the top. That is how you build your business to do 100 deals a year as a single agent. And I hope that you use one or two or all of them in your daily business to help you build that bond with your clients that you need to get to the top of the mountain. Leave a comment below and let me know which one you like the best and if there's anything in the world that I can do for you.